If you have never traveled on an Amtrak, you're just like us. We are about to take a 19 hour long train ride from New York to Chicago overnight on economy seats. OMG, this is economy. It's gonna be an adventure and we're gonna take you with us. Let's go. Look at this beautiful Moynihan Station. If you haven't checked out our very quick short tour of Moynihan Station, make sure you check out that video. So we are waiting now for our train to Chicago. It's next to be called on the board there. We have no idea which one's gonna be, 910 or 1112. Okay, this is the suspense of uh, taking an Amtrak, waiting for the last second. Which track is it going to be? Notice there's a line forming over there. So we're going to go close to 7 and 8 and ask if that's Chicago. Okay, we found a couple of quick tips. So number one, there's folks walking around. We went to them and they said, yeah, get in this line. If you have kids, you go ahead of the line. So like we're here and the line starts there. So we are ahead of the line. That's number point number two. For going from New York to Chicago, I asked which car should we sit in? They said they're going to make you sit in car number three. Are we going to sit two and two or four? But, oh, we're moving. Okay, we're heading down. You okay, buddy? I'm glad we well, asked a couple of folks that with kids, you can go ahead and be in the front. Going. No, no, no. How are you? Thank you very much. He said better view if you sit on this side. That's it. This side has better views, so come here. We are settling in. See that? If you want to sleep, then you guys can do that. This is going to be your seat review and $270 for four people from New York to Chicago. Can't even reach that. As you can see, I cannot contain my excitement. I'm like a little kid right now. You can see a lot of space and my favorite part. You can see that I can fully extend my leg. Can you recline? Just press the button and this is like a business class seat. Old windows, beautiful views and the conductor helped us by telling this side has the better views. Now you do have some space for your knickknacks. You have your table which we are planning on using a lot and oops that's perfect. Now the blankie does not come with the train. This we brought from home. <coughs> the seats are really wide. You have 220 volt outlets. I noticed that when people are coming in a little late, they are walking around and trying to find seats. So I'm glad, Alia, that we got here early. Yes. Another thing I'm not used to, no seat belts. I just can't get over the space. How much space we have? We are leaving Penn Station. Now, of course, with the huge windows, if it's if it gets sunny, no pressure to block it. I love it, love it. All right, so I can hear the train conductor coming. So far, this is amazing. I know, I love it. How much you Guys, who's got your tickets? Oh, we got. We got a ticket check. The staff here is wonderful. They're gonna come and actually tell us a couple of interesting points that they told us that we should not miss. I have no idea how excited I am that there's 18 more hours of this. Yes. And we haven't started eating yet, so. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. This is like a dream. Yeah. We're taking stuff out, charging stuff, and once we are fully settled in, then we can maybe eat. We have like three hours of daylight, so we are glued to the window to take all the views in. Look at the marina coming up. Yeah. Leaving Penn Station. Uh, make sure you sit on the left. All right, so it also has lights. 
So we still haven't found what this is all about. We're gonna ask somebody. Alia just switched seats with me. Now look at the headrest here. I mean, you can see on the other side how much leg room uh, the seats have. Even with the front seat reclined, you can still see a lot of space. So we are at our first stop. I'm not joking, but this is genuine happiness. Being in Amtrak, we are the only ones with constant smiles and probably annoying whole bunch of people. Okay, we are leaving our first stop. I think there's 19 total stops. So what we are debating now is when do we eat? In daylight or at night? Because Alia actually cooked up amazing uh, rice dish called biryani chicken biryani and so we brought some chicken biryani we have snacks we have coke we're packed up we're packed we have we're, a whole suitcase so of food so i think what we're gonna do now is sit back enjoy the view um, the conductor said he's gonna come show us when voice west point comes so we'll pick you guys then West Point and the conductor actually came. He also said there was a castle. castle? Yeah. So he's there's a name for it. Benyon Castle or or something like that coming up too. It's very cloudy and rainy. That looks just incredible. I've only been on the train for an hour. Oh yeah. One hour is gone already. I know. Only 18 and a half hours to go. It's going by too quick. Okay, that is the, we're gonna put the name on the screen, Ben and Ben. What did we just saw? We'll put a picture on the screen because it was foggy. What is it called? That's uh, the name of the castle, Ben and Ben Castle. Yeah. It's an abandoned military warehouse in Hudson River Island Castle. Okay, we are passing by another cool bridge. Help us figure out what this is for. <laughs> this little gear on the side of your seat, pull this down or up, and then you will have to manually bring this footrest up for yourself. Yeah, and so it becomes a real full recliner. And, and you can this recline. button helps you go back. And don't forget to bring a blanket. It's not crazy cold in here, which we were worried about. We didn't know how cold it was going to be in the train. And online, we couldn't find any references in terms of the temperature inside the train. But if you bring a blanket, it's pretty cozy. Now, on our seats, we don't have any controls for the fan or anything. You just have these lights. But no fan or cooling temperature. But the temperature is very comfortable. We are approaching our second stop, Poughkeepsie. Oh, Poughkeepsie! Poughkeepsie! Right this is people getting off in our second stop, Poughkeepsie. We are looking at Metro North right now. Train stations on the other side. A lot of people getting off at this uh, stop from our car. Luggage storage right here. Don't be scared. Okay, this is a little hangout area. A reserve for sleeping car customers only. Do not enter. Let's walk back. That's just water, rainwater. So by the way, look at this area. So this is where doors are. This is reserved for sleeping car customers. Oh, there's the food cart's gonna come in Chicago. Okay, let's go back to the seats. 
playing Minecraft? Yeah. Yeah, it's very heavy. We have Coke and snacks and dinner in in our carry-on. How's the food? Now this is what we got. We weren't kidding when we said we were gonna bring a lot of snacks for 19 hours. So one side is full of snacks and the other side is full of drinks and home-cooked uh, chicken, rice, chicken biryani and uh, yeah it's like we're selling snacks in the look, look at mom look at this so there's a dining car but it's only for people who has a sleeper cabin and so in Albany we're gonna get a cafe car two cars ahead of us and at that point we'll be able to go there and get some more snacks if we run out of this we're gonna have some home cooked rice by Chef Alia. Chicken, potatoes, rice, peppers, fresh mint chutney. As we're eating this yummy food, we stopped at a stop. This is stop number three called Rhinecliff. Stop. A lot of people got off. Albany, we're gonna leave our stuff here and go out for a quick 15 minute walk. We're here for almost an hour. We're gonna exit this way. So here's Alia. Alia, smile for the picture. Welcome, coach class. Okay, by the way, they said we can go to the bridge. There's a church behind the spire, is a Catholic church. And that's where everybody's walking towards. It's 623 and we gotta be back by 7.05 at 7.05 the train leaves again so there are three coach cars we're in car number three and then there's sleeper cars right those square uh, cars are the sleeper cars then there's a dining car the southern sky charters look at the rooms inside guys look at the room so the Aberdeen you can see there's a bed there and they have a bathroom right next to it look at that viewing area on the Aberdeen, Carolina. Watching another Amtrak get connected to the train. Train 107. That's the conductor going in. So these are the sleepers. Did you notice we got all those waves? We are in this train ride for a few hours. We love the seats, we love the coach class. This is the diner car that we can access. This is what the dining cars look like. If you have one of the rooms, then you can come here and dine. This would have been really nice, but we can access these. You see the crew sitting there. Alia, these are the sleeping car. Why don't we go back to our seat? Yes. Because I, it's kind of weird leaving our stuff just lying around and we're just standing outside. Yeah, so we're going to head raining. back in and it's raining. This looks like an older Amtrak logo, Amtrak America. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now boarding 49 and 449 Lakeshore Limited. Please, ladies and gentlemen, we are now lining up for train. Ladies and gentlemen, next station stop for approximately 20 minutes. We'll be Schenectady, Schenectady in about 20 minutes. Uh, push this. Light is on. That's what the bathroom looks like. A little messy. There's plenty of toilet paper. This is the economy bathroom on Amtrak from New York to Chicago. So I'm going to unlock. The light's going to go off. James Gavin, sir. Thank you so much for a great chat. If you check this video, you gotta hit like. We spend time with James, chit-chatting. Bye-bye, take care. Thank you. He's a nice guy, really nice guy. I don't think I've ever chatted with somebody, right? Like for three 
hours, right? Yeah. And he was so nice. Next stop is Utica in one hour and 20 minutes. By the way, that's our luggage storage. You can see the menu here. Oh, they have a bagel with cream cheese, so we can get that for Kizar. Oh, a vegan barbecue burger. Mac and cheese. Grilled cheese. So we went and quickly took a look at the snack car. And it's pretty good. They have a lot of options. Good warm food for kids. And for us, we do have our food, but we'll still end up buying something from there. So the plan is to go there at 9 o'clock, take some games with us, and get some food and drinks, and have a nice family dinner. Now it is 9.05. That'll be all for now. Thank you. It's the snack car. So we're getting mac and cheese for his, seven dollars. We got two uh, Coke cans and for mom and bub, and we got cups of ice, and we got Fanta. Yes, go put that back. And look, your boxes are so cute. It has a train on it. You got it? Oh, good job, buddy. This is eating his mac and cheese. We have been sitting here for about like what, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. There was a lovely couple sitting here who uh, we chatted with, um, sharing tips on museums to visit. Uh, now, Kiz and Issa are going to start playing Uno. I'm going to finish my meal and then we'll all play a few games together. The train stopped at Syracuse um, and what they do, they turn off the lights and stuff so we're in the cafe car right now uh, the two Amish gentlemen here told me that after Syracuse they will shut off all the lights and so it's like sleep time so that's the time to sleep uh, this cafe car if you if you want any food is open till 11 30 somebody's buying a drink right now but it's nice and empty playing some cards, hanging out in Syracuse at 10 o'clock at night. Okay, so we're moving again. Bye-bye, Syracuse. Okay. Okay. Here's Mommy! So it's dark. So everybody's sleeping? We're playing Monopoly Deal. We just left Syracuse and uh, it's 10 30. We'll go to bed around 11 11 30. You know? Uh, all the cars are now dark except for the cafe car. Uh, but it's nice and quiet. Oh, my turn? Okay, I think this is going to be my binning move. The very first tournament on M Track and I won. I won. Yes. But you won? Yeah. Just say no! Kizera is happy that I won, right Kiz? No, not at It's about 11.06 at night. We are pretty close to Rochester and then we're gonna head to Buffalo, New York. The train is gonna go right next to Lake Erie, passing through a bunch of stops in Ohio and then Indiana before 
reaching Chicago. Our plan is we're gonna go sleep for maybe five, six hours. All right, we're gonna head back. It's about five cars that we're gonna go back to our room. Everybody's sleeping. So we'll show you how dark it is. Rochester, New York. We're gonna wish you guys a very good night and we'll pick you guys up in the morning. It's uh, 3.40 and that's, that's Cleveland, Ohio. And that's Alia. 3.40, Alia. Alia, look. Cleveland, Ohio. And we are reaching Toledo, Ohio. Somewhere in Indiana. This is Butler, Indiana. We're approaching Waterloo, Indiana. Welcome to South Bend, Indiana train station. People are getting off. And Isa is playing Minecraft. Yeah. And Isa just changed his shirt and, my pants. and used the restroom and he's all freshened up. On to I think the last stop. Chicago. <laughs> We are approaching Chicago soon. Nineteen hours in. Uh, the train is a little early. I believe about 40-45 minutes early. Uh, these seats were very comfortable. Um, there's a couple of things that we're gonna do for next time. If we're gonna bring blankets and a better jacket, that's one thing. And then maybe neck pillows. There's the arrival announcement. Arrival announcement is done. Okay, Shizu, mm -hmm. did it feel like 19 hours? No, right? Felt like six. Six hours. Okay, that's not us. That's what his said. And mom, did it feel like six hours? Yeah. Kind of felt like six hours. Yeah. Uh, these seats are comfortable, but this piece definitely needs a neck pillow if you're sleeping for six seven hours um, definitely need a blanket because there's no air control and last night it got too cold so the kids had blanket but Ali and I slept with um, with a jacket on you know I mean I think I'm gonna miss this I'm, I, I can't believe I'm saying this okay what did you say can you say that again so she said we have to do this more often so I, wonder, I wanted to put that on camera, but he was crying because he's missing Amtrak. I can't believe that. His and Nisa are in love with Amtrak. And Alia too and me too. So, 19 hour trip, Amtrak, oh, we can't wait to do another one. Maybe we also do a sleeper car. Thank you, seats, for the 19 hours, by the door, 
That's where your trash bins are, on either side. Thank you very much. Thank you. about 18 hours right but it went by too quick especially we did sleep at night time but not so much I think six seven hours all of us but it did go by too quick it was a wonderful experience we can't wait to try it again the seats were way more comfortable than we expected uh, the bathrooms were okay but 18 hours you make a few trips you're fine we can we can manage that um, it did get a little bit cold at night time, so if, we are, you, if you are prepared for that, it's not an issue. So make sure to pack blank, blankets or keep some extra layers so you can be comfortable sleeping at night. Um, daytime we felt fine, but nighttime did really get a bit cold. All right, would you do this again? In a heartbeat, yes, okay. can't wait. That's great. I hope you guys enjoyed our journey. First one on Amtrak. We're in Chicago. Make sure you come back and check out Union Station Chicago Tours. Bye for now. Bye. That's awesome. If you have kids, don't forget to bring them. Yeah, if you have kids, don't <laughs> forget to bring them because you can get ahead online. And then, of course, when you have your table, you don't need to extend it. You don't need to recline your seat. We can also record nine hours of footage, so I gotta pace myself. But look, we're looking to see if there is a kid walk. It's okay. a stretch. It's it moved away. We gotta go back. Oh, oh. okay. Hide here. Hide here. Hide here. Lot of stuff. Hide here. Hide here. <laughs> you guys were gonna surprise me. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so Ali and I just read the name of this town. Oh my god, we're gonna butcher it. I am calling it, it. I'm calling it. I'm saying it right. No, I'm calling it Synecdoche. Oh uh, and how are you calling it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shenna Tady. Shenna yes. Tady? Yes. No, I think I heard the announcement is Synecdoche. Synecdoche? Oh my god. All right. If you live here, if you live here and James. Apologies if you don't know the name of your town, but um, we are the next stop over Albany.